The Suhoi Su-57 Felon continues to evolve in 2026 as Russia's premier stealth multirole fighter, combining cutting-edge aerodynamics with advanced digital systems. It represents a significant step forward in Moscow's ambition to field a fully modern fifth-generation combat aircraft capable of challenging Western designs. With continuous upgrades, the 2026 variant is more refined, more reliable, and more mission-flexible than earlier production batches. Its airframe still stands out with sharply blended contours and signature stealth shaping. Composite materials reduce radar visibility while also lowering weight, giving the Felon excellent maneuverability. Engineers have added improved surface coatings for better radar absorption and durability, making the 2026 version stealthier than earlier models in practical combat conditions. The cockpit layout has received meaningful refinements. Pilots now operate a modernized glass cockpit featuring larger multifunction displays and an enhanced helmet-mounted sight system. These improvements allow faster situational awareness and better weapon queuing, especially during high-G engagements or complex multirole missions where rapid decision-making is critical. The avionics suite has also been boosted with upgraded processing power. The Su-57's integrated sensor fusion system now combines radar, infrared, and electronic warfare data more seamlessly. In 2026, this results in a smoother tactical picture for the pilot, matching the expectations set by other advanced fighters like the F-35 and J-20, while still maintaining Russia's own design philosophy. One of the most notable updates is the continued development of the second-stage engine, often referred to as the Isdeli A-30. While still not widely deployed, the engines installed on test and limited production aircraft in 2026 demonstrate much higher fuel efficiency and thrust output. This gives the Felon better supercruise performance and extended range, two areas where earlier models were criticized. The thrust vectoring capability remains a major highlight. The 2026 Su-57 exhibits remarkable post-stall maneuverability, allowing incredibly tight turns, rapid pitch changes, and extreme evasive capability. These moves provide a tactical edge in close-range dogfights, giving the Felon unique handling characteristics unmatched by most other operational fighters. Weaponry integration has expanded further, giving the Su-57 a more diverse strike role. Internal bays now house advanced air-to-air -air missiles, anti-ship weapons, standoff cruise missiles, and precision-guided bombs. Engineers improved the bay mechanism for faster launch cycles, ensuring reduced radar signature even during weapons deployment. The radar system, an upgraded N036 Bielka AESA configuration, benefits from better electronic counter-countermeasures and wider target tracking capability. With improved detection ranges, it performs more reliably in contested electromagnetic environments, a critical improvement for modern warfare where jamming and deception are common. The 2026 model also incorporates enhanced electronic warfare features. These include advanced jammers, decoy systems, and defensive digital countermeasures that help the aircraft survive in missile-rich battle spaces. Its defensive suite integrates tightly with onboard sensors, automated to react in milliseconds when threats are detected. The Su-57's networking systems have been reinforced, allowing the jet to act as a battlefield node. Data link compatibility with drones, ground forces, and other aircraft is better than before. This increases the Felon's usefulness in coordinated operations, especially when paired with Russia's growing unmanned combat air vehicle programs. In terms of range and endurance, the new engine improvements and aerodynamic refinements offer noticeable gains. Long-range patrols, cross-border missions, and extended loiter operations are all more efficient in the 2026 variant. This helps the Su-57 fulfill both air superiority and strike missions without relying heavily on aerial refueling. Maintenance and reliability have also improved, addressing early criticisms of the airframe. Russian engineers have focused on simplifying access to internal components and improving the lifespan of stealth coatings. This reduces long-term operational costs and boosts sortie generation rates. Operationally, the aircraft is steadily entering service in larger numbers. While still not produced at the scale of Western fighters, the incremental growth of the Su-57 fleet in 2026 makes it more available for frontline duties, including air defense, patrol missions, and demonstration of Russia's airpower capabilities. Pilots who have reported on early flight experiences praise the aircraft's control harmony, power, and flexibility. The blend of stealth, speed, agility, and advanced sensors creates a well-rounded combat platform capable of adapting to a wide range of scenarios. It may not yet match the production maturity of American counterparts, but its potential is significant. Overall, 
The Su-57 Felon in 2026 represents a sophisticated and evolving fighter that continues to close the gap with its international competitors. Its combination of supermaneuverability, improving stealth features, expanding weapons options, and advanced avionics make it one of the most formidable fifth-generation fighters fielded by Russia, with room for further upgrades in the coming years.